How's it going guys? Yomtosh here back with another video and this is the third episode of this mini series. Today we're talking about jailbreak utilities you should have with your new jailbreak. So the first one is called dismiss progress. So you know how you install a tweak on Cydia and you don't want to respring just yet and you just want to get out of Cydia and do some other things on Cydia. So with this you basically have that option of clicking close in the top right corner. So I'm just going to reinstall an a tweak quickly so you can see what I'm talking about. So rather than having to be forced to click the respring button or closing the CDI app, you just get a close app right here. My um, CDI is in French right now. This was a long story from the previous jailbreak, but yeah, you have a close button right there. That's what Firma means. So you click close and you can go back to doing whatever you want on CDI and that's really handy. The next one is pull to respring and this is a very handy method of respringing your device so you just want to head into settings and pull down and it respring your device easy as that no hassle no fuss and that's pull to respring and just waiting for it to get back into my lock screen there we go and the next one is iCleaner Pro and this is a very popular tweak and iCleaner Pro has saved my life countless of times saved my jailbreak as well and it basically allows you to disable tweaks and find out the culprit tweaks so tweaks draining battery tweaks not working right causing respring loops stuff like that so if you have a bunch of tweaks and it just happened to come out of nowhere this is your best bet of finding that tweak without having to delete everything and speaking of battery life if you do want to find out memory hugging processes and you don't really know what's hugging your CPU, causing your battery to drop significantly. This is how you're going to find it. This is how you find the um, processes that are taking up RAM or taking up CPU. And with this, you can easily search it online and you'll probably find an answer to it. Or it might even be a tweak that you might be familiar with. Maybe a tweak is um, hooking onto a particular process. Easy to find it and easy to dismiss whatever it is that was causing your battery to drain and you probably got a glimpse of this not too long ago and this is the um, detailed power usage in the battery so we have this on ios 12 as i previewed in one of my other videos but yeah it's not as in-depth as the way ios 12 has done it but it's still a pretty good representation of um, how your battery drops and increases as the day goes by and i'm pretty sure apple copied this from this developer because it looks extremely similar Anyways, this is what it looks like and you can see the dips and the um, levels of your different battery percentages. Pretty cool. You also get like your regular 24 hour stats and seven day stats right here. But yeah, you also do get the processes as well. I almost forgot. So you got the, you get the processes that also take the battery rather than just your applications. So this is another way to find out um, the processes that might be taking your battery. So that's pretty cool. And last but not least is new term two and new term two is basically a terminal for iOS. So anything that requires troubleshooting, sometimes you might have to go into terminal to fix it. One really common one is UI cache. So you just installed your themes and your themes are not working as they used to. So you just run UI cache right from the terminal. You do a respring and everything should be fine. So. At least, even if that's the only thing you might use it for, it's still a cool tweak to have, or cool application to have as it is. And that's it for this video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe. I really don't know what's gonna happen in the next episode, or think about something. But yeah, stay tuned for that. And peace. Yumtosh here, signing out.